Hey friends, Osiris here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you all the locations for every single baby Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, we're going to start off in Jubilife Village and make our way to Obsidian Field Lands. This is going to be the first place that we're going to hunt for the baby Pokemon. We'll start with the easy ones and then we'll move up to the harder ones as we go through. So now we're in Obsidian Fields. You can get quite a few baby Pokemon in this area. If we look at the Pokedex, we're going to start with an easy one, like I said, and it's going to be Mime Jr. Now, there are two locations where it will spawn. There's a rarer one in Horseshoe Plains. It doesn't really spawn there too often. Um, and the more common spawn area is going to be the Sangam Flats which is where we are going to be looking for today so if we just go to our map it's easier to get to from the heights camp so we'll just kind of transport ourselves over there and then what we can do from here is drop a pin down because it's right at the end of the Sagan Flats is where you're going to find Mime Junior. Mime Junior is one of the the easier ones to find really uh, there, there, there are other baby Pokemon that are more difficult but the kind of common trend that you're going to see with most baby Pokemon are they're spooked quite easily. Uh, they, If they spot you or you kind of fail to catch them, they're quite prone to running away and you could lose the spawn. And for the rarer ones, that's super irritating and it can be quite tedious at times. So having a lot of patience is a good thing when you're hunting baby Pokemon. And they're definitely Pokemon that you're going to need to complete your Pokedex. And in this area right here is where you're pretty much mostly guaranteed to always get a Mime Junior now. <laughs> I'll say this, we're not going to get any today, are we? So we might need to go to the Horseshoe Plains and I'll eat my words for the more rare spawn. We've got a Mr. Mime there that I cannot see in Mime Junior. Now, if you just fly up a little bit and take a bird's eye view, ah, there is a Mime Junior right there. So just in a different location. So if we just land and then we kind of give ourselves a little bit of cover we'll be able to sneak up on it oh if you get lucky sometimes you're gonna get them where they are asleep yeah this thing's sleeping so we can sneak right up on it look at it and like I say if you get lucky this is this is a perfect situation we did wake it up but if you're quick enough with the pokeball you can um, catch it and then you've got yourself a mime junior like i said this area here on the map is the perfect location for mime junior all around the sagan flats is where you're going to get them they're pretty easy spawn you know they're they're a common spawn so they're not going to be super difficult to get a hold of okay next one in obsidian fields that we're going to go for is munchlax now this is a much more difficult spawn uh, and deer track heights is where it kind of spawns normally and it is like i say a very difficult one and probably the more frustrating one of all of them so again if you want to just transport yourself back to deer track heights this is where you're going to be able to kind of hunt it. If you just turn around, you'll see a tree here in a little clearing. This is the way that you want to kind of make your way over to. And we can come over the edge of a cliff here. And what we can do, it's going to be starlies here, but we want to just be a little bit careful. You can look from up above here. We can kind of peek from around the corner because Munchlax will spawn in this area here now there are two cricket tots in this area so there's a method for kind of forcing the spawn or respawn this area uh, and that's either by chasing the cricket tots off or battling them or catching them it's entirely up to yourself i think are they gonna move i don't think they're gonna move are they we're gonna have to catch them this one's gone i think so that's all right okay so if that is the case and there's no munchlax when you come around the corner like i say just kind of get rid of it all the Pokemon in that area so what you can do now is we can take a look at the Pokedex and you can kind of see Munchlax when it likes to appear uh, there's not really any favorite conditions it's going to appear in the morning in the, the afternoon evening and at night and pretty much most weather conditions it can spawn it's just got a very low spawn rate so if you've done what we just did we're going to change it until night and see if this does the trick and we're going to get the munchlax spawning again and we kind of just repeat this process going from night to morning clearing out the um the pokemon that are in this area and hope that the munchlax at some point does spawn now like i say the spawn rate for munchlax is pretty pretty low so it can take a long time for it to actually pop up in this area but you kind of have to be very careful because when it does you don't want to scare it off and it doesn't look like it's here this time nope 
not this time right now morning again this is what i mean about having a bit of patience because it will take like i expect this to take a long time to spawn but when it's your kind of one of your last pokemon for you to there we go it's there you can see it munchlax is right there Let's sneak up here i'll throw another berry but we'll try and throw it like behind it okay so it turns around and then we can sneak up on it and then we can do a back shot there we go okay so there are a few ways how to catch it you just need to be very careful and there we get the munchlax so that's excellent right that's munchlax and on the map this is where munchlax is if we come in a bit closer you're gonna find it in this location using that method clearing out the spawn table and then when you have just change day to night and at some point munchlax will appear okay next pokemon we're gonna go after is pichu and i'm gonna show you exactly where I've had the best luck finding Pichu. And every time I pretty much come to this area, there's always been a Pichu. There are other areas in nature's pantry that it can pop up, but Pichu always appears down in this area for myself. So if we again look at the Pokedex entry for Pichu, it's gonna give you a few areas where Pichu can pop up. And all of the areas on the Pokedex, like the Pokedex does not lie, the Pokedex has the areas where it will pop up but i do feel like there are certain areas where it will spawn a bit, like a bit more common than other areas uh flora's gardens and nature's pantry so we're gonna head down to nature's pantry right now okay so you want to just leave the highlands camp and pretty much just come straight down where this pin is and just nose bomb down here this mount here because you've got this ridge around the corner and you want to kind of duck around because when you come around this area here this is where the Pichu are normally located. You want to kind of sneak into the grassland and just be very, very sneaky, stealthy when you're coming in here because you don't want to spook the Pichu. They tend to spook super easy. And if they get spooked, they're going to be hard to catch and it's going to get more frustrating because they're a rare spawn anyway. Ooh, we've got a shiny. We've got a shiny. There's no Pichu here anyway. Oh, here it is. It is a cricket top, I think. And here's the shiny. So I've just caught a bunch of them that weren't shiny. And there we go. There's a shiny. So if there's no Pichu in this area, we get the shiny Cricketot, which is quite a nice bonus. You want to just fly back. We cleared the area. You want to fly back to the height camps again and use that same process that we did with the Munchlax. Let's see. Is this the moment of truth where the Pichu is going to spawn? No Pichu here, though. Oh, there is. There is a Pichu. It's right over there. And pull up another berry and it'll eat this one. And it'll just get a little bit closer to you and then you can target it when it starts eating and then you can throw a pokeball at it and hopefully that's enough to catch it there we go and there's the pichu so pichu is in this location like i said it might take a few times but you are going to be able to catch it down in this area here it's right on the area of nature's pantry so this is the exact place where i've had a lot of luck where you can catch pikachu as well if you are ever wondering about that pokemon okay the next pokemon we're going to look at and baby pokemon is going to be hapini so hapini appears throughout the hisuian region but it does appear a few times in obsidian field lands and to catch it probably the best place that i've discovered to spawn it is the obsidian falls which is right over here and the hapini normally appears on the path over here normally hapini will appear around here if there isn't a hapini at all that doesn't look like there is but again it's just the same process of being able to reset the counter table and then come back here and check and see if Hapini is around this area because it will be just around this area right here and on the map this is where it is located as you can see in the Pokedex it's in a couple of areas it's an Ouroboros or Burra tunnel which is right below us if we come down here there will be a tunnel entrance and this will be Borough tunnel and you can kind of come into this tunnel here and just go through it and then sometimes I've never found a Hapini in here I've always found it on top of the tunnel but maybe today is the lucky day and I guess it's only going to be in one location there's a big kind of opening when you get to the middle the center piece of the tunnel Oh, and Hapini is here. So, okay, if it's not on top of the mountain, it's probably below the mountain. So, you need to be quite 
careful here. I don't think I've got any smoke balls. And I don't really have any food left for it. There we go. Okay. No. It was a matchup. Okay. We got the Hapini anyway. That's fine. There we get it. Okay. That's good. Right. Well, they're the locations, as I say, right on the edge here. Uh, of Obsidian Falls in Ouroboro Tunnel or on the top here is where we were before. They're the two locations for Hapini. And that is all of the baby Pokemon that we're going to get access to in Obsidian Field. So we can head back from this location. Oh, we got 19 Pokemon. Oh, we got the shiny. We got the shiny Cricketot as well on our journey. So that was quite nice. Um, so yeah, they're all the baby Pokemon from Obsidian Fields. And now we're going to head up to the Alabaster Icelands. The first one we're going to go after in this area is going to be Riolu. Okay, so the two places that Riolu does spawn is Icebound Falls and then the Snowfall Hot Springs. Now, the next place we're going to look is down in the Icebound Falls. Okay, so I'm actually just going to go back to the snowfields because it's super quick to get to from our base camp. And we'll just fly across there through this tunnel and it'll take us to the other side where the falls are and then it's just down from here where Ryulu does spawn and pretty much most of the time I don't think it might be a rare spawn but pretty much most of the time I've been down this way I've always had a lot of success getting Ryulu so hopefully we have the same success here but saying it we are recording so it might not always work out like that let's see Right, the grain cakes are what we want for the Riolu. And there we go, you see? It's just chilling, just chilling on ice right here. And we can probably do a back shot on it if we want. You can sneak up on it, you can feed it again if you want. But this is the location on the map, precisely here. Uh, you can see this is where Riolu will always kind of be spawning if you were wondering. Let's feed it. we go nice we got Riolu that's good the other thing that we're gonna say in this area is like I say this is the area for Riolu and the other thing that we can actually go hunt in this area is gonna be Hapini again so Hapini does appear in this area and we'll just go back to the Pokedex entry for Hapini right Hapini or Avalanche Slops is the other place that it does appear as well so what we'll do is oh, we're pretty close to it here so yeah, what we can do is just put a pin down and we will make our way out of this area. That's all these Electabuzz. Ooh, Ellie Kid as well. That's another one. Ellie Kid. Quite happily along this path in the Avalanche Slopes, Ellie Kid appears as well. Most of the time, there may be occasions where you come and it's not, but then you can just kind of go back to camp, go back to Jubilife, come back, or just reset the Pokemon in this area, go back to camp, change the time of day, and you're gonna be able to get Ellie Kid most of the time. So what you can do is just kind of lure it in with some nice mushroom cake or one of the cakes that you're gonna get. We're probably gonna get the Electabuzz kind of coming over as well. We can just pop an Ultra Ball there, and that should be there we go ellie kid and like i say it's here on the map in the alabaster icelands right here just between kind of avalanche slopes and icebound falls but this location on the map just pinpointed if you're wanting to know where it is and this is where ellie kid is and now we will head to the colbert coastland so what i'm going to do is just change the day until the morning the first one that we'll go for is the eevee so eevee uh, as you can see, it appears in a bunch of areas. Crossing Slopes is the area um, in Colbert Coastlands that it appears in. That's down in this area. Crossing Slopes is down here. And normally around this area is where I would find Eevee. So we'll head down this area. We'll just... Um, we can fly, I guess. But it's just around... Not down here. I've never really had much luck with it around this area. The two spawn spots where I found it have been just up towards these trees now so if we dive down now but i don't know if we'll find it today because it is a very rare spawn spot and i mean i repeatedly when i was trying to catch eevees had so many encounters or trying to get encounters of it and you know reset the table over and over again and it just didn't it just wouldn't spawn so it was it was very difficult to uh, to get it but i did catch it there a couple of times we'll pick up some beans because evie does love beans just in case 
it is around here so it should just there we go okay it is there which is perfect for this example which is perfect so we want to just get ourselves into the grass again eevee is one of those pokemon that's spooked very easily so we need to be pretty careful but we can select the beans that we just picked up and uh, just drop them down and it should entice the eevee to kind of come over and um have a munch and if not we've got a bean cake as well this tangela is annoying can we get it without spooking the eevee oh this is not ideal we're gonna spook this eevee it's gonna run away right there we go and we put this to bed and hopefully we haven't scared that eevee off that's still there okay i think it's sleeping and this is the thing like eevee will sleep so you can be quite stealth about sleeping up on it if not you can use food to get it but it the best way to get it is always going to be like an ultra ball. This is super cute, this TV. Bosh. There we go. This should get it. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't. There we go. We got the Eevee. And it is this location right here in Colbert Coast Land is where you get it. And please that appeared when we came because at so many times where it'd come, um, it wouldn't be here. So it's normally here or it would be up on this ridge just here next to this glam meow, um, right here. Uh, is the other place where you would get it okay so that's that done now the togepi is the next one togepi is located in the cobra coal land at ba bathers lagoon and tranquility cove so if we look on the map bathers lagoon tranquility cove is on the other side of uh, oh, tranquility cove is in here i've never come across a togepi there but I have come across them down in this area here okay so what we're going to do is go and look for togepi and it is over in this area if we go on the map it is down in the kind of the, the bathers lagoon area so um hideaway bay and it should be bathers lagoon in this area up here and it's normally in this like little alcove up here so yeah there is the retogapi there i think it might be sleeping yeah it's sleeping at the minute we're getting quite lucky with all these pokemon sleeping so We'll try and catch it now, but this is where Togepi is. Try and catch it. This is where Togepi is, like I say, right in this area here. This is the location where it's going to spawn. Just make sure it is daytime because if it is night, it will not appear through the night. I'll show you on the Pokedex in a second. And there we go. Okay, so here's Togepi's Pokedex entry. As you can see, it only appears in the daytime. So morning, afternoon, or evening. As soon as it gets to nighttime, it's gonna disappear. So don't try and hunt for Togepi at the night. And this is the location where you're gonna get it. So the next Pokemon that we're gonna actually look for is Mantike, which is another baby Pokemon. It's classified as a baby Pokemon. And you're gonna find it all around Tunquility Bay and, and like, there we go, okay, on the map. Anywhere in this cove, you're gonna find, you're gonna find the, um, the Mantikes and they're pretty easy to catch as well they're not a super difficult baby to catch but it's just known where they are and that one where is it gone there it is okay camouflage and when they're in the air there we go they're not too difficult to catch and there we go there's Mantike like I say there's one behind us straight behind us as well so they're really quite popular Pokemon easy to see they'll go underwater then they'll fly up again you can get Mantine here as well but that isn't a baby so that's not included in today's video um okay the next place that we need to head over for baby Pokemon in this area is Fire Pit Island which is a molten area so in this area we're here on the map I just move my camera for a minute you'll be able to see a little bit better we're here on the map. This is where we are in regards to Cobra Coastland. You'll know this because this is where you've got to come to fight the Arcanine. Right, but what you want to do is make your way down this path. And there'll be a magma first off. And then there should be some Magmies kicking around along this route. It likes mushrooms, honey, grains, beans, all that sort of thing. So we're good for feeding it. I swear the baby Pokemon are probably the trickiest Pokemon to catch in the entire game, to be honest. Because... They're difficult to catch and they can run away pretty quickly. So what we'll do now is we'll get a cake. Should we give it a bean cake? I think it likes beans. Drop a bean cake out of this smoky barrage. Let it eat. And then we'll pick it off. And there we go, Magby. That's the location right here 
on Fire Spit Island. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the baby Pokemon in this kind of region. You've got Piplup as well, which is on the beach, but it's more of a starter Pokemon, so not really going to count it here. So the next place that we're going to head to is Mount Coronet. Okay, now we're here at Coronet Highlands, so we'll start with Cleffa. To start with, you, you're going to need it to be nighttime for Cleffa. Cleffa is a very, very rare spawn and a difficult one to get. Uh, it took me a long time to get it. Doesn't matter on the weather condition as long as it's night. If we look here, it will only appear at night time. And as I said, it doesn't matter about the weather. It's down in Fabled Springs. So that is down in this area right over here. This is where we want to be heading. So we'll put a pin down. There is no quick way to get in here, unfortunately. So we'll just make our way across. Okay, so we're pretty close as we come up to Fabled Springs now. We want to just dive down onto this side of the bank is where I would suggest diving down. Clefairy are pretty. You know, they're not, they're not offended by you kind of walking around. They're not really going to run away. They might do. They're not going to attack you though for one thing. So they're pretty nice Pokemon. But on this side of the bank, I wouldn't see you ever going to get Cleffer. Like Cleffer has never been on this side of the bank. So we're going to have to cross over the river here. You can get some big Basculation, uh, Basculins in here. Um, but Cleffer has always appeared to me beside this big alpha clefable if you didn't know there was an alpha clefable there is there is one here so cleffer is normally around this area it doesn't look like there is a cleffer here on this occasion which is a little bit sad um because it would have been nice but this is the location oh there could be there could be a cleffer there or is that a clefairy yeah i think it's just a clefairy okay so what we'll do, we'll try and clear out the table and then we'll go back to camp. The, the hardest thing about this area is, if you look on the map, it is so far away from like every camp. So it takes an absolute age to get here. So resetting the table, the encounter table here, and then going back to camp, changing to morning, then to night again, can't disappear. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's gone. Right, what we will do now is head back to the main camp. And then we'll have to come back here after we change it to morning and then to night. Right, we are back in the area. And I think there is, I think that's one right there. So let's just approach from this side. Like I say, I've never found one on this side of the water. I think because it's a baby, they have kind of tendency to spawn in one area. So it should be the same for you, but I could be wrong. And yeah, there it is. So we've got the Cleffa spawning. Throw a bean cake out now and try and lure it in. It's eating. And there we go. There we are. We got it. So it is exactly in this area like I've just shown you, friends. This is where Cleffer is. Okay, so that wraps up this area. What we need to do now is just head to the Crimson Mirror Lands. We've got a few more baby Pokemon to get. And as we tried to get Bonsly in the Mount Coronet and we didn't have really much success, I think that's the first one that we'll try here. So we need to go to Cloud Pool Ridge. So if we fly Cloud Pool Ridge, and I think it's more here, like right next to the... We just pin this and then we'll fly up to the Brava area. Okay, so we're in Cloud Pool Ridge now, but we need to go down to this marker, which is this direction here, which is where Bonsley and Sudowoodo normally kind of spawn in this kind of area down here. So we just need to see. It looks like, is this a mass outbreak? No, it's not. There's just a lot of gold bat activity going on around here right now. So, the pseudo wooder down there. Let's see if we can just land. It's going to pretend to be a tree. And let's see if we can find ourselves a Bonsley. I don't think there's a Bonsley anywhere around here. Because they're normally, like I say, with the baby Pokemon, they're normally in like one, one kind of place. And it would normally be around this kind of area here where the Bonsley would spawn. So, um, I don't think we're going to have any luck here with the Bonsley. So what we'll do is we'll head back to the camp and we'll just make it morning. The nice thing is because all the Zubat and Golbat are there, it kind of resets the table, doesn't it? So we should have a good chance of it kind of respawning. So this is probably a better area than where we were before in Mount Coronet to get these Pokemon. Okay, we finally got the Bonsley. It is just up ahead here. You can just see it. We've got to be very careful. 
the thing that it likes is crunchy salt so let's try and see if we can lure it with some crunchy salt and then there we go bonsley we have you there we are that's good that's awesome okay we got bonsley so this is the area where you're going to find bonsley in the crimson mere lands had a lot more success with it here than we did in um, the coronet highlands which was a little bit tricky to say the least because it normally appears around celestic ruins there but you know sometimes it, it's just for speed of this video we can give you both locations but at least we got one of them and just for the sake of it we'll go after we'll show you Badu. i mentioned it in this video as well and it is whether i like it or not probably is a baby pokemon i don't know if it's officially classified as a baby pokemon but when everything you look at online it's it, it comes up as a baby pokemon so we will just pull it up right now and you can see it's in the golden lowlands and the great Bajor bog so there's two areas where we can get it and I think Grape Jaw Bog is here and the Golden Lowlands are here and I think if we just walk down here I think there'll be a Bidu right here this is another reason why you know it isn't an, a, a, a massively difficult baby Pokemon to get because they're quite available all the time but as you see you can just leave there and they're super easy to catch they do run away so you have to be careful because you don't want to spook them but there we go there's Badu, and it's right by the camp so easy to get there's a couple of locations for it but there we go so no one can say anything if they think Badu is and i say it isn't but it probably is isn't it it is a baby pokemon i guess so there we go so friends that does it that wraps up today's video i hope you found this one useful i think because the baby pokemon are pretty rare and they're difficult to catch i'm hoping that the locations that we've shown you in today's video have been helpful for you completing your pokedex if they have been do consider dropping a like on the video it does really go a long way to help the channel out and if you like the content and you're wanting to see more of Legends Arceus coverage, because we've got a lot more on the way, then hit the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much as always for tuning in, friends. Have a great rest of your day. Until the next one, take care and bye-bye.